Z-Way is here. I'm so excited. Hi, I'm excited too. Thanks um, for having me. Thank you for coming on my pod. Of course. I'm, uh, I follow you, your podcast on TikTok. And I know, so I'm excited. About it. I know, I'm we excited. Talked about the TikTok of it all. Yes. You're and a so TikToker. I, I like, I, I'm on TikTok. Yeah. I'm on all of the tech oligarchs app. Are you on Snapchat? I have a Snapchat account. You know it's coming back. It is. Yeah. I have, and I have my at, at I have Z-Way at Snapchat. Uh, I, know, I was are there you early. You, who has Z-Way on Instagram? Um, a woman who lives in, oh God, I think she lives in Sri Lanka. Um, Did you try to contact? Of course. <laughs> at Google Translate, I was typing away and she was like ignoring me. It could be a guy too. You could get it. You know Help that, me. right? Let me know. Go, I would. This is a call to action. <laughs> You're under the sound of my voice. Give me my handle on Instagram. I com. really think that if we put a little bit of effort, you could get it. Let's get the handle. Do you want out. it? Do yeah, you want it? Of course. Yeah. Sure. Okay. We'll get it for you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations on your book. Thank you. Black thank you Friend so Essays. Yes. Thank you. I love the pink. Thank you. Are you a pink girl? I am a pink girl. Yes. I wasn't always a pink lover, and over time I've learned to embrace it and embrace. Did you love identity. Barbie? I, as a child, I had a dentist Barbie. <laughs> I, that was my Barbie, and so I liked that she was a working woman. But I really got into it as an adult, and just the aesthetic of it. Honestly, I yeah. thought it was really like hyper pop culture. Wait, so when you were growing up, you were saying you grew into your femininity. When you were growing up, were you not I was a into tomboy. it? Oh yeah, yeah. I would play like Grand Theft Auto and like Crash Bandicoot. Um, but I also liked Sailor Moon. So there was th that side of me always existed. But over time, I've learned to really embrace the Brad dolls and the Barbies. Yeah, you're really into like the feminine looks lately. It's I mean, it's just such a crystal clear understanding of like hyper American culture. Are you into fashion? Yeah, I would say that. Yeah? Yeah. I love that for you. Oh, thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to know, because like you studied writing too, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So did you always know you were going to write a book? Like, was that the plan? Yes, for sure. Was that the plan? I didn't know what kind of book I would write, but I always knew I would write a book. Yeah. Did you think like it would be more memoir -y or something? No, I don't think I'm interesting enough for a memoir. Nor like, do this I is my life. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I, I, ha I don't have a Prince experience, and I didn't sell crack as a teen <laughs> um, or date Tupac. So I so I think a book of essays is perfect for my what I'm willing to share. I also love that it was like a shorty. Yeah. 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 Like relatable. Everyone can read it. Readers and non-readers alike. Exactly. It's yeah. accessible. How long did it take you? Three years. Damn. It took me three years. Wow. Yeah. That's a long time, no? I think writing is a process that yeah. is important and it a book lasts forever. And so I want to make sure the words I put down in perpetuity are for like good <laughs> and their the, quality and the concept of the the black friend was that also something that you knew that no. your book was going to go in that direction i found that the essays that i gravitated the to the most centered around friendship and there was also obviously the irony of that question from my interview show how many black friends do you have yeah, yeah so yeah. i found that to be like a really interesting intersection no your interview style yes tell me about it tell me how you grew into it and oh yeah okay i talk about this in my book i it's called baited like the interview style right and so it's honestly based on the like Barack Obama Fox News era where he used to, or era where he used to wear tan suits and they would be so hyperbolic about the country and what Obama's impact was and so I I became really obsessed with like leading questions and the gotcha journalism also Sarah Huckabee Sanders or Sarah who what's her name who is the girl from Texas Sarah ha I can see the Texas from my house Sarah what's her name Sarah Palin. Oh my God. I did not know that's where you're yeah, going. Yeah, Sarah Palin. No, dude. That could be something. There, no, there was a really iconic interview with Sarah Palin, and I want to say, was it Diane Sawyer? I think Diane Sawyer, or it could have been Barbara Walters, but I think Diane Sawyer. Uh huh. And. And it's like gotcha journalism, and it's so iconic. And I, so I really became, or it was accused of gotcha journalism, but I really became really intrigued with like sound bites. And so that's where my interview style came uh. from, was the like really specific 2010s era of modern journalism. And that was in, it was 2017 when you started your... your 2016. When you was, started your own show? Yeah, it was a, yeah, it was a YouTube show. It was a YouTube show. Yeah. And you had this idea. Did you get together? Was it like a did you get a, together like a production and like 
you really believed in this concept. Yeah, I really believed in this concept. I believe in a lot of the art that I do. Even if it's bad, actually, I believe in my concept. Um, because you have to work through stuff. So yeah, yeah it was just, a ma I shot a bunch of interviews with friends and they were different, they were themed and we kind of vibed into what was eventually the most recent iteration. Yeah, so it started definitely in the same vibe of what we've like seen from your interviews. Like you knew that was the direction with the baited was you. And when you say baited, do you mean like, like it's that like a gotcha moment? Yeah. You're baiting. Basically the, the premise is that you bait someone into answering an impossible question. Yeah. And then obviously hijinks ensues because how would, how are you supposed to answer a question like that? You know? And you don't like being interviewed. No, you don't. Yes. I don't love being interviewed. What is it? What do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> I know. I want to talk about like. Uh, you don't want to talk about yourself. No. Well, babe, really. that's what we're here to do today. I don't guess, know how you feel about that. You know, honestly, I mean, I guess I'm going to rise to the occasion and yeah. let you know a little thing about me or something. Yeah. But why don't you like talking about yourself? Do you like talking about yourself? I do. Really? Yeah. What does that mean? Is that bad? No, not necessarily. I'm I'm a listener. Uh, so I like to hear other people's experience. But I do too. I love it. But that's it. why I want to learn about you. Okay, well, you know what I give mean? Give me a question. Let's do well, it. Let's no, get it so, popping. But I'm saying there is kind of like a, a a dichotomy here because like you are in the public eye. We see you out and about. Yes. Do you don't like though talking about yourself? Do you not like fame? Do you like the idea of fame? Oh, like wow. people? Wow, what a complex question. Oh my god. Fame is like a vehicle. Do, mm. you, do you like a car? What kind of car? Right. You know, so that it depends for on people the day. to see like your art, you mean? Like to a vehicle. Fame is a know. vehicle for to share anything. It yeah. could be like a charity. It could be your clothes. Yeah. It could be your art. Yeah. Uh, for me, it definitely is to to create art that people consume. Um, do I like it? Yeah, sure. It's cool. It's cool. I can't complain. I have a beautiful life. But you want to keep things mysterious. I love intrigue. Yeah. And I love mystery. I like smoke and I like mirrors. So do people ever know like who you're dating? No. Never, huh? No, no one's ever even asked me. Do people care? I care. I'm not dating anyone. No? No, not right now. Okay. What's your type? Hot. <laughs> I like this, I like hot guys. Hot. I like smart guys. Yeah. Like, funny. Tall. Funny. Like funny. you have to make me laugh. Oh, yeah. I, I, I know. We got to get you with like an SNL dude or something. Yeah, maybe. Would you date Pete Davidson? I think that he is so iconic. He really is. Yeah, exactly. He I mean, he, it would be. Yeah. Would you date someone not famous? Yeah. Like a complete like I would love to man. Yes, of course. I would love to date a guy that um, <laughs> doesn't have an Instagram. That's oh, that's cool. so hot. I don't yeah. think Pete Davidson has an Instagram. Though. I know he doesn't. Yeah, he does like come back though, and then he like gets bullied for a minute and goes away. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, I know. Protect <laughs> him at all costs. Um, you mentioned that you don't use your last name anymore. Oh yes, I'm a mono mononym. You're like a Madonna. I'm like a Madonna. What's Madonna's last name? Oh gosh. Oh, it, does anybody know? Is no, that wild? What is it? Sachoni. Yeah. What? Yeah, because she's from Michigan. Yeah, Ciccione. Madonna Ciccione. That's so fab. Or uh, is that Italian? Yeah. Okay, she's Italian, right? Okay, I knew that. Everybody. <laughs> um, so you don't use your last name anymore. Where did that decision come from? Honestly, from performing live comedy in New York forever, and people would introduce me, and they'd be like, "What's your last name?" Okay, great, got it. And they'd say it wrong, and so I got into just being called Z-Way. It's very clean and easy. Like it's easier for everybody and you don't have to I don't to have to pissed. be like, I don't have to be like, okay, I'm listening. I'm learning. This is how you pronounce my name correctly. <laughs> like, I don't want to do that drama. And growing up though, did you experience that? Like, yeah. You grew up in Boston? I grew up in Massachusetts. Yeah. I mean, every, any, so not in Boston, like outside. Yeah. Mm. Uh, north of Massachusetts or north of Boston. And so every person with like a name that isn't like Scott, Tillsbury or whatever yeah it finds that they have to have that moment in the first day of class every single year where they're like okay Adam Eric uh z z and then the person the teacher is like stuttering and you have to be like it's me you're talking about me yes I'm the one with the strange name yeah and it becomes like the song and dance and so as an adult I've learned that I don't have to participate in a dance yeah I don't want to you're right. I'm, I'm very pro footloose you know? Yeah. No, I like that. <laughs> but it did like, did it sit in a place where you were hurt by that? Like growing up or was it just like, Oh, this is so annoying. It's annoying. It's, it's probably annoying. hurtful, yeah. but it's also annoying. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you grew up in Massachusetts. Your parents are from Nigeria. And you grew up kind of, it sounded like in a strict household. Yeah, definitely. And so did you let loose when you went to like college and had For independence? Sure. Uh, absolutely. Probably too much. Where did you go to college? Uh, Northwest. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everyone's like really smart there. So how loose are they letting? Um, both loose and not <laughs> loose at all. Yeah. yeah and it's very footloose. It's like there are rules to this town. Um, yeah. I mean, what was college like? I had, it was, at, well, actually I'm still in college. I identify as 19. I'm very, <laughs> very, very young and chic. And so I would say my day to day life is, you know, uh, during the day I'm a interviewer, writer extraordinaire. And then at night I go to frat parties. <laughs> did you go to frat parties? Yeah, I went to frat parties. You party. did? Of course. Did you like it? No. Yeah. It's no, it's very awful. sticky. Yeah. Yeah. Did you go to school in New York? I went to Ithaca. So no. Oh, frat. I, I specific, you, you know, Ithaca. Yeah. I mean, I have to be like the one where Cornell is, but not Cornell. That's how I have to tell well, people. Well, because it's go really now. hard. To, I did a I did a speech there, and it's really hard to get. Well, you went to TV and ra- for TV and radio at North. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went in the in the in the school of um, communications too. Okay, wow. Um, so that's why I picked because it has a good communications. Yeah, program. no, it's actually famous. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Um, but I also went there because I searched. There were no frats. I was like anti frats. You okay? God, well, I think the propaganda against frats is really strong. So yeah, it makes sense that you would be. Anti. Yeah, and yeah. I knew they have a reputation. Yeah, I was like, that's not my vibe. No. You know what my dream was? It was to go to like, this is my actual dream, to go to school in Canada where the drinking age is 18. Right. And I could properly have a cocktail at a jazz bar. Go like, at that a was jazz me. That's, bar? That's what I thought I was. Very didn't look like. I looked like at, I looked like I was trying to be Ashley Simpson. We talked about Ashley Simpson before I love we started. Ashley um, but I was also in my mind like, no. Nah, solo cups that's not for me I, and by the you way know? it isn't for you it was very dirty and yeah. sticky and they had like in college you have this thing called um frat jacket fracket frat jacket where it's like you take your not your least nice coat your worst coat yeah and you bring it with you to the frat party in case you lose it or it gets sticky it's like not oh my a respectable God. living but you what's what's cool about <laughs> you not, you know dirty. what i like to find out <laughs> people that uh use what they went to school for what do you mean? Oh, like you, you, you did it. I did it. You went to school for uh, uh, TV radio and you did minor in, in poetry. Yeah. Right. You, you're you're using all that. I'm using my skill. I know. I know. It's actually worth a the flex. 55K. Yeah, you're right. I would say <laughs> higher education is worth it. <laughs> all of it. Um, and then so after college, that's when you started your like career or did you intern? I interned everywhere. I interned during college at Comedy Central. In New York? Yeah, New York. So you went for like the summer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah. And I did that. And it was this rotation of program at like Daily Show, Colbert, and then like the on air, off air, whatever programming. Did you like it? Did I love it? I liked it. it. I had no concept of what it means to be a professional comedian. Who knows? But did you know you wanted to be one? I knew I was funny. And I, I had a, I had all this skill in poetry. And I had no idea what I could possibly do with a po- with poetry. And so I applied to this internship. And I learned, like, the the mystery behind this job like i thought it was hilarious people like high-fiving and playing basketball but it was really just an office job and so it demystified the industry right yeah. it is true people think that jobs at places that sound cool are cool Mm-mm. but like you're in an office still if anything they just have like really funky wallpaper <laughs> and like maybe like a cool fridge with some like neat drink yeah it's like liquid death they have like a lot of liquid death in a the fridge of, but otherwise they probably didn't have liquid death when you well were i'm really young yeah. oh right you're in 19 <laughs> i forgot um Ugaka. but okay yeah. so it wasn't the coolest but did you you fell in love with it because you wanted to keep you wanted to keep doing that stuff yeah i, I thought it was actually really cool mm-hmm. and I, I just found it really accessible um so yeah i, I went after it full throttle my senior year of college and started interning at the onion and then freelancing for the onion and kind of worked my the way. onion still happening i mean yeah, i know the onion's i know it's happening. on like instagram but i used to in new york take the onion the paper right where'd you get the paper the th- they would hand them out or oh. they would be in like the thing wow that's so yeah. old that's like newsies i'm telling my age <laughs> um, yeah i we had but you're iPads. So onion <laughs> i was i was really handing out ipads in union square and i was like oh satire so when did you start performing at clubs when did i start performing uh 
two years after college, three years after college. Yeah. And I would just, I, I, someone asked me to do a show and they had asked me if I had experience and I lied and was like, yeah, I do it all the time. And it was my first show and I killed. Yeah. And that's usually how it goes. And then the next. For you? No, for usually, <laughs> you for, usually kill your first show. Really? And then afterwards, it's like a, it's like you're getting beaten by the audience. Yeah. <laughs> you know, have no experience. And so I did it for years after that. But yeah, it took me a long time to become comfortable on stage because I was shy. And you were writing your jokes, like you were yeah, probably yeah. writing sets and everything. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I started as a writer, so I'm. That's like right. a secret skill that people don't know I have. Would you do like a stand-up special? Yeah, I would. You would. I'm about to go on tour, actually. Yes, I'm going on tour. Literally Everybody, on saddle as up of, as of Sunday, Seattle, LA, San Francisco. So you're doing like a live show. Yes, live show. Philly, DC, Atlanta, Minnesota. Just you. Just me. Where else am I going? A lot of places. What's going to be in your show? Can you give it? I'm going to talk you? about wiki feet. So my feet, obviously, look. At the Wait, so I saw the photo. Well, I see the. Oh, the, the oh, the tag is <laughs> on. Sorry, I don't know what I'm wearing. I don't get, I don't see myself. No before. one tells you. No, I just put on clothes. Wait, let's talk about this wiki feet thing. Yes. You have one photo on your Instagram with your feet and they're buried in the sand. Yeah, they are. But you got a profile on wiki feet. Yeah, in like 2019. And I, I'm not, Um, I wasn't big and then but I still was like slowly coming up and I got on Wikifeet and I found out that I my rating was okay. Who told you that you were on Wikifeet? My friend Kelly. Did you ask Kelly why she what she's doing on Wikifeet? No, she just she honestly was like that's this is how you know that someone's a celebrity. No, but how Wikifeet. how did she know? She's a creep. I don't know. <laughs> I want, I'll call her right maybe, now, you I sicko. <laughs> no, she, I don't shame maybe people she was for their like, sexuality. Maybe she was like googling. Maybe she was like a good friend like had a Google alert on you or something. No, we didn't know. We found out together I was on Wikifeet. She was on Wikifeet independently like horny, like horny for people's feet. Um, but that's her cross to bear. Yeah. <laughs> so she, and so she found out I had a um, uh, profile and that my rating was just okay feet. Um, and so I was really hurt by that. Yeah. And so, but since I've been excerpted in the New Yorker, my, you wrote a whole thing about it. I wrote a whole essay about oh it. Oh my God. Yes. Exploring my rating and the fact that I'm not really hiding my feet from the world. Like I'm hiding the world from my feet. And so it's just really hard. But my rating has since gone up. It did? Yeah. It's, how? Have it's there at, been more picks? Well, I was excerpt. It was, there's an excerpt in the New Yorker. There are more picks. But I think people have to pay for those on special websites. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm beautiful feet. I but I won't stop until I have better feet than Emma Watson, who I think is number one on Wikifeet. She's number one on Wikifeet. Victoria Justice is also really high. But Emma Watson, does she have a lot of picture of her feet on the internet? I don't. I think it's more that she has been very um, public for very long. She was in. I, I want. What I want to know is: Harry Is Wikifeet legit judging feet, or is Wikifeet it just like has who they like? Twelve million visits a month 12 million so it is a very popular website where people rate and rank women's feet so let's be honest you're a little flattered you're on wiki feed i don't think it's a flex <laughs> but i won't say i hate it <laughs> and you said the score went up what did it go up to five okay yeah, five. out of what so I think I have beautiful feet or like 4.2. 4. No, I think it's higher than that. Out of five. five out of oh, five. but please go. If you are hearing the sound of my voice, I want you to go vote for my feet, create an account and just like type nice things. Wait, do you, you do have a good voice. Thank you. Were you told that in your life? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's very soothing. Thank you. Unlike mine. Your voice is nice. Oh, don't lie to me. I like, um, you know, like the nanny, Fran Drescher. Oh my God. Are you saying I have a nanny <laughs> voice? I think her voice is so beautiful. Oh. Because you have to understand it's so God. special and iconic and like so particular. Wait, but my voice reminded you of the no, nanny. No, it does not don't remind you. lie to me. You no, said it. No, I, you said that you have a voice and I'm thinking of special voices. Yeah. Her that voice is you of mine. so iconic. It's iconic to have a distinct thing about yeah, you. Yeah. You know what? I you know what I say about voices what would what do you, you say want, about voices this is what I say wait everybody <laughs> listen to what I say would you want a boring voice no right exactly exactly you exactly. want personality yeah we've, I, we've started to like wash away everything that's special about us but it's actually cool I know I'm saying if you don't have a good voice 
make it good make yeah add some flair yeah get a little get a little what is it uh the valley oh you, the valley girl the yeah val- i do that sometimes i get called out they're the, like you're trying to sound like a kardashian and what i'm like what that? if i am vocal fry vocal fry yeah yeah i love it i love it Night you know what that's reminding me of your that interview that. with um George. Chet hanks chet hanks he talks like that no he did some wild accents <laughs> though with oh you. yeah he does do accents he has a lot of accent work i want to talk more about just having the the chutzpah do you know that word yes to yes. really put... i live in america <laughs> yes I know the word. sorry <laughs> no. do you know the word egg yes. <laughs> i do actually um to put people in those uncomfortable situations do you ever feel bad or pe- were people ever scared to be interviewed by you because they thought you would put them yeah yeah i would say i don't so Life is awkward, right? Like, if you've ever watched a single interview, you'll find that the questions that celebrities get asked are absolutely out of their mind. You're right. Like, you'll watch, like, a old, old school Taylor Swift and then be interview and they'll say they'll ask her about who she's dating and like what size her foot is and like what her favorite pizza within the span of a minute and it's yeah, like yeah. a press junket and so I found that to be such an interesting starting point that allowed me to to walk into these interviews and have those wild questions with but me. you would do it about much more like sensitive topics than like but I don't know pizza. if that's true because people will literally ask women they'll be like so did you get custody of your children yeah and that I would never I ask know. someone that that's a, or, to me that's a wild question yeah but but my my you would just ask name five asian people that you know is that a hard question (laughs) you could you could decline did you get declined people decline asking answering questions yeah yeah Yeah. Yeah. it's a free country yeah i believe it or not i don't hold a gun to people's heads i don't like uh kidnap their family (laughs) and tell them that they can't (coughs) leave until they do what i want um it's a consensual relationship and and basically like there was a purpose to to this show to to there was a purpose of the way you were interviewing you were trying to make like a bigger point about the world not about the people no my point is just comedy yeah yeah it's really just like making myself laugh and then if other people laugh that's great but i wouldn't say there was an ideology behind it and you know if the show was on today would there be a dream guest that you would want to have that you haven't had a dream guest. I sat next to Chris Jenner at the at Loewe, um fashion show. Oh, that, that would, would be really that cool. would be cool. She's an icon. She would she would have a sense of humor about it. She is an icon. No, she really is an icon. Yeah. You're right. So you like the Kardashians? I I used to watch when I was growing up. Oh, you don't watch anymore? I watch the new one. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, like um, I used to Dolce watch. Vita lifestyle. What do you think? Who were you? Who were you team Kim or Courtney? That's a tough one. You're gonna have to answer, babe. The premiere. I felt bad for Courtney. Oh, yeah. This premiere, you yeah. mean, when they were on the phone and, yeah. and everyone made the not, not Courtney group. Yeah. Yeah, that was fucked up. I, I felt bad for her. I know. I felt bad, too. I think that... And she's pregnant. She's going to have a baby. Right. So, I, so, team baby. Team baby. Team baby. I think that... I think that we can all assume that, yeah, she's not the closest with the family right now. Mm. You know? But that's... I don't think they need to be creating groups... And, and naming them not Courtney. Would, how would you feel if I created a group chat with all oh my God. the producers? Do you know what would I, wait? Do you know what I would do? Like when what when would you do? Courtney took it pretty okay on the phone. Yeah. What would you do? I, I'd create a group, a second group chat called not not Courtney. I would, <laughs> and it would be just me. <laughs> I text myself. <laughs> just you. Um, but that's what's cool about you because you love the Kardashians. You also love 90 Day Fiance. I do. Bravo shows. You I were just do. on WHL. Yeah. Um, Vanderpump Rules. I, of course. Of How course. I've been watching Scandal. Vanderpump Rules since since um, Vail. Do, do you know? Her? Just Vail? You didn't no, start at well, one? No, I started at one. I started at one. Wait. Okay. I used to call myself hashtag VPR ambassador. This is a true story, you guys. Even though I watched it like five years later. Really? The reason I called myself an ambassador was because I was so fucking passionate about it and telling people that like this is su- no no it's this is good such a good show it's beyond like they have sex with each other's boyfriends exclusively we can See? get a good friend up. good friend okay? i'm obsessed with vpr i wrote about vpr in my book i wrote about raquel how you feeling well because i was obviously team ariana i well mean done. that's a horrible thing to do yeah but then the the third reunion part where we're sort of yelling at Ra- raquel with like steaks, rachel, now. Yeah. rachel um with like pitchforks i started to feel guilty yeah like i was complicit 
in something darker. Yeah. So I wrote about that because I'm I'm endlessly obsessed with Vanderpump Rules. And I think we can also see that like Ariana's thriving. She's living a great life. Like I feel like she would probably be like scandal is the best thing that ever happened to me. I it's I explore that because how it's hard because. It, at such great expense is her life having this crescendo, right? Right. Like, that is so tragic. It's to also probably to you. not what she would want to have catapulted. And you always you have to talk about it. Yeah, constantly. she's so over it. I'm sure that's really hurtful. I know. Um, but I'm really happy that she's doing well. But are you secretly also happy that Tom is gonna be on the next season? I think that Raquel should be on. The I season know. Too. She, do you think she would? Do you guys see that she was auctioning off? Her the, lightning the, bolt um, necklace. Tom Tom sweatshirt. And the lightning bolt yeah, necklace. Yeah, which cost $796. Did you see that? Researchers, <laughs> journalists know how much it costs. Um, I think we should buy it. I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like people would not buy it. Like, what's the opposite of buying something? Um, Like, buying it and burning it? Like, I don't even know. Buying it and burning <laughs> it is still buying it. And I actually hope anyone wants to buy and burn my book. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that press. You Imagine are such a saleswoman. Banned book. Um, so what's your all-time favorite Bravo show? Is it VPR? VPR, but I think actually Beverly Hills. Okay. But old school Beverly Hills was, cool. was that dinner from hell. Yeah. was great. And you do you like where it's at now? The show. I, we'll see. It's a okay. new season. Kyle's getting a divorce. What do you think is happening? Is uh, she with that Morgan? Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Do you like this midlife crisis I situation? I think it's. I think it's really chic. Wait, did you see that someone put a meme that <laughs> she really looks chic. like when she was walking with her down the street and they were both in trucker hats? Somebody did a meme that they look like Wayne's World. Yes, I think Kyle posted that. Oh, she did. Yeah, she That's reposted iconic. it. They absolutely look like Wayne. And who's the other guy? Wayne and Wayne. Wayne and Dwayne. Wayne and Dwayne. I think I'm making that up. But Are you? No, but it was like Wayne. Oh, how good was that? Where did he go? Wayne's Mike rib. Myers. He's he's also living a fantastic life. You say Voice don't. Shrek. You're like don't worry about. He's thriving. don't worry about Mike Myers. Thriving. I know. And you talk. Speaking of Shrek, yeah. look at that segue, everybody. Speaking of Shrek, you mentioned donkey i love shrek i do believe shrek 2 is the greatest i have a kid movie. so i've watched shrek like as a mom like you want to watch this you want to try to get your kid to watch stuff that you would be yeah. interested in watching yeah so i'm like i'm so good with shrek, shrek you know what fun. my favorite part of um shrek is you know when they go to um what's that town called with the I man had, uh, far, oh far far away land yeah yeah and they have like nah, they have that song yeah and then they say oh we like to chant uh, yeah yeah <laughs> And they say, right bar. bar. That's my favorite part of the whole movie. It's a good joke. I'm like, I'm an adult and I know what they mean. And they (laughs) know that like the kids won't know, but we'll know. That's my favorite part of the movie. And the dirtiest part of the children's movie. (laughs) So dirty. Um, Let's talk about the the interview style that we were talking about. I want to say that I'm, I, I am seeing more of that style now coming out. I'm seeing some other people do the like, awkward silences and things like that do you are you flattered by you know things that are uh, a little bit of imitation are you like ugh, like that's my thing i don't think anyone can own like a style a, a style of interviewing yeah i exist in an overall that is greater than me like i was inspired by zach galifianakis and nathan fielder yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Andre oh you were inspired Oprah by Winfrey. zach okay. yeah all of them they're i mean they're iconic and so so when i see this style of interviewing sort of grow from where i started i think that's cool it yeah. ins- inspires me to continue like working on my craft right yeah. like to you mean like maybe reinvent yourself? Yes, I believe in the. I am someone who loves the artistic, artistic reinvention. Like when Rihanna got short hair, yeah. And when, then when she got red hair, ooh, and then when she got little short bob. I mean ooh. everything, Rihanna. Exactly. So I think it, that that's sort of essential to being, like, to, yeah, to being popping. Like, who are you? Just switch it up. Wear a bow. So you think? <laughs> <laughs> so you think if you came out with a new show today, you would come out with a new concept i don't know i would mm. work through what that means and mm-hmm. what they whenever that starts um you did uh, why do people call it wwhl it's hard to say Watch what happens live so people just say that full thing yeah okay or they say andy i think but i don't did, know okay so when you went on andy when you went and watched what happens live you were with mary crosby yes were you excited about that pairing yes i requested it no <laughs> you did it do you watch salt lake of course Oh my god, you watch it all. Yeah. People were I'm really- accessible. <laughs> She's relatable. 
people were really I'm sick. <laughs> people were really uh, into your reactions, like your facial expressions. I mean, and Mary's she's so iconic and such an interesting. She, talk about someone you never know what they're about to say. That is a woman who is full of surprise. Did you learn anything from her that night that you didn't know? Uh, that fish fillet is both luxurious and also she's a vegan, vegetarian, but eats chicken nuggets. Oh, so how's that all, allowed? You know, that part Maybe we didn't real get meat. to. Oh, I also learned about the champagne. Champagne. Um, did you hear about the Dom Perignon 2003? Oh, I heard that about. Yeah. I didn't really understand it. Well, so there was this year in Europe where there was a really bad drought and it produced one of the best Dom Perignon years. And she told you about that. Yes. And yeah, so she, <laughs> she, she taught me about. Um, That's so random. I think now I know I wanted to gift it to her, but it's a really expensive so you're like nvm <laughs> never mind um you're one of your closest uh famous friends is emily radikowski mm. do you call her emrata no you call her emily i do okay just was wondering because we all call her emrata yeah if like anyone in her life calls her that you know yeah it's like superman and <coughs> Kent. right um and i noticed that in your book you don't really she's not the beginning of any chapter even though a lot of your interviews are Oh, she isn't? I don't think so. Oh. And and when you do reference her, you don't say her name. Yeah. Is that a choice? No. I, do, I wrote a bunch of essays. So what I ended up cutting down, like she was at the beginning of a couple of essays, but but I don't I don't know if I use them. How did you become I never th I I haven't thought about this at all. How did we become friends? She, she had a book coming out literally a year ago. Um and I loved it. I thought it was great. And so we ended up doing a couple fashion events together and connected. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And you you noted this because you were talking about um you know, growing up and having people confuse you with another black girl in your class or yeah. something. And one of the most recent stories you said was actually at like the U S open. Yes. Yeah. Well, I wasn't confused at the U S open. I was sort of correct. Identified correctly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was confused at the WNBA game. Oh the yeah. Yeah. Days. Yeah. That was such a weird experience because they, um, I was going there to prove Michael Che wrong that people cared about women's basketball and that it was a perfect um, utopia. And so he, we, we had a conversation about the WNBA and he said no one watched it. And so you went, I went and then they misidentified me on the um, Jumbotron as Sam J. But they put you on the Jumbotron, just not as you. Yeah. Yes. And I was wearing a shirt that said Z-Way. Oh my God. Yeah. That was. Um, so what happened after that? Did anybody apologize or reach out? Yeah, definitely. They were really kind about yeah. it. And also I find it to be sort of laughable. It's I think it's funny. I yeah. can see how someone's feelings would be hurt, but it's pretty iconic to have one woman wearing a shirt that says I am Z-Way and another person saying, I'm not Z-Way. I'm not Z-Way. She's right there. That's just perfect. Yeah. That's funny. Like it's content. Like sometimes do you feel like because you're a comedian and a writer, you take moments like that and you're like. Yeah. I, I let I life inspires my work for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, it was like Ray Romano used to say that sometimes he would get in arguments with his wife and they would go on longer because he would like look for material. <laughs> yeah. So I respect that. Oh, Ray honestly. Romano, you're bringing it back today. OK. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a Is he scholar. also doing well? I'm like, where's where Ray, doing Ray great. was one of the best syndicated sitcoms in oh my American God. history. He's doing so good. He's a he's a hit maker. You said before that you would want to be the first black bachelorette. Oh, yes, I did. But you can't be the first anymore. But would you be a bachelorette? Yeah, I don't think I if they I, I couldn't imagine kissing anyone on screen. Really? Yeah, they'd have to blur it out because your parents. Happens. I, not even because because of me. Do you want to make out with someone on screen? I mean, not with like tongue, but they don't really do tongue. You anyway. would kiss someone on screen. I think I would. And just be pecking them. Maybe a peck, not a tongue. I used to watch multiple that show. Men? <laughs> I don't know if multiple. No, they kiss Probably, a lot I know of they guys. Kiss no, I'm not. Guys. I'm not slut shaming. Yeah, it, to be clear. <laughs> I'm saying for my own. Yeah, I would be like, do it. Let's kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I want to kiss you. I know. Yeah. It's where they do that. Did you, do you watch The Bachelor or did of course. you? Of course. What, you're watching The Golden One right now? Of course. Now? What? It's, yeah. Okay, you guys, Z-Way watches I, more TV watch than it. me. I watch a lot of TV. Yeah. Why do, when, I'm watching TV and hair and makeup probably. Yeah. yeah. The Golden Bachelor, are you into it? 
Yeah, I like that the woman was like, we need chairs. We should be able to sit. I know. She's like an activist for all the older bachelorettes. I, that's funny to me. I know. And he's cute. He and he's really like cute. 70 something. I know. They should get some young girls on the old golden bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> for people that are interested in buying your book. Yes. Uh, what, what's your elevator pitch of your book? Like, how do you sell it? I sell it as a vehicle for me to get my feet score up on WikiFeed, <laughs> honestly. And that usually gets people titillated because they're like, what is WikiFeed? But really, it's like a book of essays about pop culture that I make uniquely about myself. I love that. Yeah. And it's interesting that you can make things about yourself in your book, but you don't like making things about yourself in interviews, you say, and kind of in life. What's so, your sign? What do you think it is? Gemini. Yep. Oh! You fucking why? I can tell. What? Like a little confrontational. I like it. Spicy. I'm a Pisces. Stop. <laughs> Wait, what does Pisces mean? Pi I only know Angelic my own. Angelic sweethearts <laughs> from heaven. Godlike. Wait. Rihanna. Elizabeth Taylor. Wait, for real? Yeah, for real. Wait, what gave Gemini and for me in this interview? I don't know. You have, There's an energy. Really? No, I love it. Oh I think God. it's really chic. To be a Gemini? Yeah, Geminis okay. are hot. No, Geminis are good. They're Would hot. you date a male Gemini? The they're hottest little, men I know are Gemini. Really? But they're... I feel like men are scarier. But they'll rain down that hammer on you. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if being a, a man Gemini... I feel like a woman Gemini is better than a man Gemini. I'm always a Gemini. Oh, yeah. makes sense. Everything makes sense in this world. I loved when you said, <laughs> I am not a supporting character. I am the protagonist of my perfectly imperfect story. Mm. How do you feel about it, though? Because I feel like you give main character energy i am a main character yeah for sure i'm yeah. not but i think i can try people may try to sideline me but how do you sideline the wind how do you sideline the you wind can't. you can't <laughs> a building <laughs> you are so confident Z -way. i am yeah really you don't feel it i don't think well confident day <laughs> <laughs> but because because i know you don't love talking about like how you grew up and stuff but but confident <laughs> Okay, but you know what, Z-Way? If you tell me I'm confident, yeah. I'll be like, I am. You know why? Why? My mom told me every day that I'm the most beautiful, most that talented is girl beautiful. in the world. That's why. That's and beautiful. I'm like, I could be ugly and dumb, and I wouldn't know because she told me that every that's day. That's really sweet. Do you know what I mean? No, that's amazing. Yeah. So that's why when I ask you that, like, I'm wondering if that... Oh, like if my mother told me. Yeah, my mother told me I was beautiful. Um, <laughs> I do look like her, so it could she could have had intentions <laughs> behind that one. And your siblings, are you close with them? Yeah, definitely. And we do look alike. Yeah, they are beautiful as well. Um, I'm confident. Wait, yeah. are you what? Where are you in the three? I'm a middle child. Same. I think I, you are. Yeah. Um, do we give it? Boy, boys or girls? We're all girls. All girls. What about you? All boys, but me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is that why you said you were a tomboy? You think? I think men have a lot of freedom. Yeah. It just seems really nice to be able to, to eat dirt and <laughs> fight. So I was looking over at that side of the you know yard thinking that's pretty cool. And now you're leaning into the femininity like we talked about. Yeah, because dirt would dirty my nails. Look at your nails. They're, oh, you're going no nails. I'm going no nails. I'm going no nails too. Yeah, I think we're bringing it back. Yeah. Did yeah, you yeah. do long nails when that was happening? Yeah, of course. Oh, you were doing like the... Yeah, what people don't talk stuff. about the... like the I had gel X. What people don't talk about with those gel X, like yeah. Kardashian nails, is you can't type. So you're really like... I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Life Size movie with Tyra Banks, <laughs> but you're literally typing with those nails like... <laughs> and I'm a professional writer. Yeah. Imagine me writing do. my book, like as I'm shooting my old show, being like, and <laughs> how many friends? It's it was not it was sustainable. Not. So you stopped because of the writing. I'll bring it. It's back. also passe though. Is it nails? I, yeah. I don't know. I think I'm about to do nails in a day. Like what kind of nails? Like French tips. I usually get French. Oh tips. no, French tips is fine. Yeah, yeah, those are cute, right? Yeah, French tips are cute. Okay. Um, the, the bad ones are the super long. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's not happening. It's it's and not, like the designs, you know. Oh, I never do the design. Yeah. I like a nude. Yeah, yeah. Visual. That's chic. Yeah. That's chic. Um, talking about your mother, you did say my mother's. What not kind of way to start a question is that? <laughs> You're an, like, what is wrong with you? What are <laughs> talking about your mother? Talking about your mama. <laughs> like you need help. Uh, you, you debutante. Said, what? <laughs> Me? 
<laughs> what? I went to high school in the city, babe. <laughs> Which high school did you go to? Beacon. Okay, I don't know anything about. City no, school. you literally don't. No, I don't. Oh, that's what it, when we talk, we're talking about your name before, and we said that you just go by Z Way. Um, and you said that you, you people used to ask you what it means, yeah. and you used to just tell them random flower. Shit. Yeah, I'll be like, Z Way means flower. Did people believe you? Of course. No, I love it. Of course, it's like what's the wildest thing you've said that it means? I think. I mean, usually I say it's flower or I say it's beautiful princess. I say it's Princess Mononoke. Does it actually mean something? Yes. It means um, when, I, when, you, when I was born, my dad was away. That's what it means. But by the way, Amanda means something too. What does it mean? She who must be loved. Oh, in Latin. In Latin. I got a tattooed on me because I'm a loser. No, that's not a loser. That's beautiful. I know. If you find out your name means that, you're getting it tattooed. And you just Googled it. <laughs> no. <laughs> How did you find it out? No, no. No. I know it actually. People that are Spanish speaking will think that I'm Spanish sometimes. Apparently, Amanda is like a, a yeah. name. Yeah, that, it has. It, yeah, that's So that. they're like, Amanda, Amanda. And then one, a person once told me, and then I fact checked them on Google, and I was like, Mommy? Is that why you named me Amanda? And she was like, no, literally. No. I wanted to name you Brittany and, you know. I was almost named Kelly. Really? We really? could have been Brittany and Kelly? Brittany and Kelly. So basic. I, no, Like Amanda Kelly? isn't. Amanda isn't. Kelly is queen. Wait. I like For real, Kelly. your parents were debating between Z-Way, which yeah. is short for. Z-Way Rikoru. And the other option was legit straight up Kelly. Damn. Yeah. Did you know that growing up? Yeah, of course. And were you like, why didn't you do Kelly? Or I were was, you happy? I hated my name as a child. I hated And now you my love name. it for sure. Well, it's great branding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. I, I'm cool with it. I'm at peace. Yeah. No, it's a good name. Yeah, thank it's you. It's a cool name. I mean, but it is still shocking back to our first conversation that you couldn't even get your name on Instagram and Nina could, you know? I know, but Like, hey. you probably thought... The one thing that, you know, I, I could get my name. I was determined, and I'm still determined. Like We're going to get it. Exactly. We're going to get it. Um, okay, before we go, some pop culture stuff. Okay, cool. First of all, you mentioned Taylor in a, in a comment earlier. Yes. Are you a fan? Yeah. Are you a Swifty? I'm a, am I a Swifty? Did you go to her well, I'm, tour? I, no, I didn't. <gasps> but I, 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 I was invited. I just didn't. You were invited and yeah, you didn't go? Yeah, like Phoebe texted me, but I just, I had work. I'd work, okay. but I I am a, I'm a Swifty. I like Taylor Swift. Well, yeah, you like her music. What do you think about her? Uh, I like the song "Bad Blood." <laughs> what do you think about her relationship with uh, Travis Kelsey? Travis, what, what what about it? The do it's I think? A, it's a, the, it's the hottest celeb relationship right now. Yeah, that's Are you into that, it? that's what I think of it. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I I don't have to date him. He seems hot. He, yeah, he was wearing these really nice Kalina Estrada pants mm -hmm. those were fresh mm. um a huge fan of that designer so here's the thing what z-way what i said something pretty pretty raunchy what did you say i went out to the world of swifties okay, and well, the army and i said that she has bad style and what did they do in your comments i know they blew them up they blew them up Woo. but you know what it was mostly i'm a swifty and I agree. Really? Yeah. Okay. And some people were like, I agree, but that's the vibe. Mm. That she dresses like your best friend in seventh grade. I think she has a couple, like the the outfit she wore to the SNL party. The catch, when they went to catch, I was there. And she, I thought she looked cute. She had this nice Versace corset. She did the corset. Top. That yeah, was yeah. Cute. The corset was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cute. I think it's maybe like the commitment to like certain other things, but... He, my point is, I post trying, I, for the record. For the record don't I look do at not, what I'm wearing no, today. No, I okay? don't endorse a word. This woman, I don't even know this woman. I met her today, <laughs> Wait, and but, so I stand. Okay, with you. I Swiss went to the Eras tour. J. Sweetie Swifty. I went to the Eras tour. I had work. I okay. work. But here's the thing. My point was about Travis that he has really good style. Like he's he's putting the work in. He's I mean the designer. You just say I don't even know. So he's in it. So maybe whole like influence. Um. Who do you think is crazier? What a sub. How do you just put that on the table? I don't I don't co-sign any of this. Okay. I don't co-sign any doesn't of agree. this. I'm saying If it. you're 12 years old and you have a keyboard, don't get mad at me. <laughs> Leave nice comments on my TikTok. Follow me. Um, anyway. um, so what fandom do you think is crazier? Uh, Bravo? You want to get us killed? <laughs> no. What is wrong with you? Bravo people or Swifties? What fandom am I it, most afraid of? No, not afraid of. Like, who do you think is, like, more hardcore, like, fighting for their cause, you know? And I'm supposed to answer this? Yeah. Swifties? Swifties go hard. Go harder. But So do Bravo, Bravo people. Bravo people go hard. Yeah. Would you go on a Bravo show? 
like real housewives of New York. You're in New York now. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I will see. I don't know. I don't know how that would work, but it would be funny. Imagine you're like friend of. I think that seems like it's the best case scenario. Yeah. Because like Mary Cosby, I'd pop in, insult someone's outfit, and then dip. <laughs> dip <laughs> like you, that looks like crap. Goodbye, deuces. But um, versus being a housewife. But who knows? I mean, now today, none of the housewives are actually housewives. They're not housewives. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot, some of them don't live in New York apparently. But um, I don't know. Do you like the new Roni? I think it's interesting. Do you like it? I do actually. I think it's cute. I think like Bryn is funny. I think that Jessel, like I'm a tank top, but I'm waiting Wait, for. She it has to- a name for her fandom. Tank, tank tops. I love tank it. Tops. She really changed her. Narrative. She became a star overnight. She became a star. Uba is a star, but yeah. So I like. There are some elements of it that I think are really fun. But it seems like you like OG. I feel like in your tone, you like OG vibes better. I, I'm never going to hate on a new cast of women. Yeah. Like, I can't wait to see what they do the next season. Yeah. But yeah. she likes OG a little bit. Jenna is cool. <laughs> I love Jenna's outfit. Jenna is cool. Yeah. Um. Okay. So Mary Fuck Hill, Vanderpump Rules, Roni, the new Roni will do. Okay. I know who you're killing. <laughs> and uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I would marry Fuck Kill. Yeah. Fuck uh, Vanderpump Rules. Yeah, duh. Because they're all horny. They're uh, just yeah. like naked and making out. Yeah. Um, I really want Lala, Kent, and James Kennedy to date. I n- I their date. chemistry they're, is they're off the game. charts. Do you know how much I love? Nobody's feeling me. Like, like I'm feeling you. you. Like I'm feeling you. Like that I'm was a bop and should have been one on Spotify. I think that. I Wait, think, you didn't finish. Oh, sorry. Uh, fuck so Vanderpump. Fuck Vanderpump. Marry B. H. But of course, unfortunately, kill. Roni. Yep, she's showing. She's showing it, babe. But I like Roni, and I and they. Uh, I they. I talked to those girls. And yeah. Yeah, they've reached out to me, so we'll see. I don't know. They're interesting. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, okay, let's end with our. Mutual mutual favorite, Britney Spears. I love Britney Spears. I know. You said, I the way you said it, it's like, I want to take what you said. You said like that she's the defining celebrity of your childhood. Yeah, definitely. She really is. She, I, I wanted all of it. I wanted the stomach, the... The, the jean, the denim the jean, outfit. The, the fedora. The belly, the belly button ring. Yeah, she was baddie. All of it. Baddie. I all love Britney Spears with all my heart. I think she's given so much to pop culture. Oh, but it goes back to what you said. What did you say about Ashley Simpson? That was before we started. Yeah, what did you said? I, something's true. Oh, I, with pop stars. This yeah, is, this is yeah, like yeah. my it's propaganda. A good take. Yeah, but I believe that pop stars are in the era that they're in, and they give what they give, and th- that we shouldn't demand more. Like yeah. what they give is so much. These young women. Yeah, and Britney Spears was at the top of the charts for yeah. so long. Hit after. Oops, I did it again. Toxic. Every album was a prerogative. She was doing covers that were hits. Maybe one more time. So I simply believe that Britney has given us everything yeah. that we could possibly ask for. Like yeah. We can't be little greedies. I can't wait for her book to come out either. Are I'm you? Excited. What do you think about Michelle Williams not Destiny's Child narrating it? Okay, I I'm cool with that. Yeah. Are you not cool with that? I want to hear from Britney. Oh. I want to know that. Okay, like, tea though. I'll give you tea. Okay. Reading your own books is hard. Yeah. I won't say. It, I will say it's. Yeah, difficult. you almost said sucks. I no? would never do that. I would say it was a beautiful experience. Yeah. And it's filled with. So love. you think she didn't feel like it? I don't. I can't speak. I don't know. Um, but it's really hard. I I read my book when I was writing it a hundred times, and then you have a week, like three days for audiobooks and when like you're the booth. reading it. Yeah, it's it's hard. I wonder if it was. I just hope like, first of all, I remember when the book was supposed to come out. I know that now it's coming out. Yeah, I want to see it like next week. I want to see it happening. Yeah, like, I feel like I'll believe it when I see it, and I want to see. I w- I just want to see her again. I know what you said is true, and I want to, and I I support Brittany. I don't comment on her videos in terms of like, what is she doing here? Why is she with knives? Like, I'm really letting oh. her be. You know, like she doesn't need more criticism or judgment. Um, She's she deserves. Are you going to be reading the book? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Okay. So Z Way is going to be re- look at my closing everybody, and learn. Z Way is going to be le- <laughs> reading <laughs> Britney Spears' Tom book. Tom Brokaw over here. <laughs> and everyone should go read Z-Way's book Black Friend Essays highly recommend it's also short easy read fun read and um and you're great thank Thank you you for coming on thanks for having me